hello children a very wonderful good morning to you all we all are meeting after your exams yes i hope you all have done well in your exams and if someone have not done don't worry don't dishearten yourself you can try more and you can work more hard to get good marks in the next exams children today i will tell you a story and in the story your chapter is hidden so just find it out okay so here the story goes once upon a time there lived a boy harry he was very naughty boy he was never ever listening to his mother he was always eating outside food junk foods okay he was not eating healthy food one day harry had a sudden bad stomach ache he fell on the ground and then he started vomiting his mother taken him to the doctor what did the doctor said the doctor said that harry had a stomach infection because he was eating junk foods so children what is the moral of the story that we should listen to our parents and we should not eat outside food we should always prefer to eat homemade food okay so i hope you have guessed the chapter which chapter i'm going to teach you today yes chapter 1 food and health as you all know children i now i told you in the story that we should eat food to get energy to work to play to study to grow to make build our bones to build our muscles okay so food and water is very important for us and to keep ourselves fit and healthy we should always eat healthy food why because food has certain substances present in it what are those substances called those substances are called nutrients what are nutrients nutrients are the substances are the things that are present in, that we need that our body needs in order to live in order to grow and in order to stay strong and healthy so we all need nutrients in our in our body and from where we can get this nutrients we can get this nutrients from the food different food contain different type of nutrients like some food will give you energy some type of food will help you to fight against the diseases some food will help you to build your bones and muscles like we always used to tell you that drink milk because milk has calcium in it which will make your bones strong similarly different food contains different type of nutrients now you understood what are nutrients okay now we will discuss what are the different kinds of nutrients there are five kinds of nutrients they are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals these are the five kinds of nutrients which contains in different kinds of food now one by one we will learn this deeply friend as you know we eat different types of food we eat different in the breakfast then different in lunch and then different in the dinner so as we eat different types of food we get different nutrients and i told you there are so many kinds of nutrients how many kinds five kinds what are they carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals so we get these nutrients from different foods not from one single food from different foods and now you can clearly see there are so many different types of yummy yummy food over here so these food contains different nutrients number 1 is your energy giving foods as the name suggest energy we get energy from these food items okay and what we get and what this food items contain the nutrients these food contains carbohydrates and fats these energy giving food they contain carbohydrates and fats as a nutrient in these food items we eat rice like chawal chapati bread noodles we take sugar then we also eat potato so these are the things corn maize these are the things from which we get carbohydrates 
fats as you all know these are stored in the these are stored in our body so that it will give us energy later on and you also know that fats keep our body to stay warm it keeps our body warm and what are the food items that contains fats like your ghee dalda ghee you have eaten ghee yes you have applied ghee in paratha and all that so that is fats your oil your bread butter your cheese then your nuts your um, like kaju badam pista so many dry fruits these are all having fats so energy giving food contains carbohydrates and fats next is your body building food body building food as the name suggests these food items help in building the body it helps in building our bones and muscles it also helps in repairing those body parts which are damaged so if we eat these food items it will help to build our body to build our bones and muscles to make us more strong so this part of food items is to is needed to build our body and what are these food items these are your cheese your butter then eggs meat and uh, mushrooms okay and there are so many like uh, other examples like your fishes milk okay so these food contains proteins in it so proteins is required in building your body and protein is what it is a nutrient so in body building food which nutrient is present proteins okay next we move on to protective foods can you see there are so many fruits and vegetables in protective foods yes protective food as the name is saying to protect our body from any kinds of diseases to fight with any kinds of diseases so what it contains which nutrients are present in it it is vitamins and minerals and you are not, and do you know children there are many kinds of vitamins like your vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d e and k so these are the different types of vitamins and also certain vitamins the as the name is there there are different vitamins and different food items and fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamins and minerals they contains vitamins and minerals in it so that's why they are called protective food because if we eat these food items then it will protect our body from any kinds of diseases children did you know there are certain food items that cannot be digested by our body okay that doesn't mean we will not eat we eat those food items in order to remove the undigested food from our body how it can be removed it can be removed as it helps your muscles it helps our muscles to push those food through our large intestine which will come out in the form of waste product in the form of stools in the form of feces okay so that's why we eat those food items to remove the undigested food from our body it adds as a bulk to the food bulk means large in quantity okay so that's why it add as a extra item with your food due to which it will help to remove any kind of undigested food which is remained in your stomach it will help in removing those undigested food and what are those called those are called roughage or fiber roughage are the fibrous food which is that part of the food that cannot be digested by our body and roughage is present in all kinds of plant foods for example your cucumber is a roughage then carrots then nuts and some kind of whole grains okay so these are the different kinds of roughage or the fibrous food which helps to remove the undigested food of our body children our body is made up of two third of water and do you know that water is the main part of the blood that's why we always used to tell you that drink lots and lots of water and also after eating your food you drink water isn't it yes you drink water after eating your food but in normal time also we used to tell you that drink water because water is very important for our body 
we cannot live without water understood children and you also know that water is very much essential as it helps in maintaining our blood level okay that's why i hope children you understood and now i will pause this chapter up to this much in the next class i will continue with the test part of it and enjoy the weather lovely weather is it yes okay enjoy the weather enjoy the video and we will meet in the evening class after so many days okay keep your doubts ready and don't get confused as i always used to tell you do not get confused we will meet in the evening class till then goodbye children